and the red, white, and blue. Thanks. Uh, listen, I better get going. Harvey's going to drive me to the Space Center so you can have the car today. Oh, okay, honey. Do you like my new bathing suit? Why are you wearing a bathing suit? <laughs> well, I thought I'd go in the pool for a swim. Well, it's just that little kid's wading pool out there. All right, so I'll go in for a wade. Do you like the suit? Look at it, Matt. Oh, well, you must like it, because your glasses are all fogged up. Oh, that's condensation, due to the thermal coefficient between the cold glass and the warm aqueous uh, vapors. Uh, it, uh, it evaporates. It goes away quickly. And tell me, doctor, do you go away quickly, too? Well, we have a crash deadline on the wigglessness research. Uh, we have to find a way to... Measure bodily responses. Well, speaking of bodily response... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, -huh. uh, honey, you're, you're bending my smigmo manometer. Uh, I guess Harvey. Uh, All set? Right. Bye-bye, little pumpkin. See you at 6.30. If I can stand to be away from you for that long. Oh, I almost forgot. What? The car keys. <laughs> Oh, I bet the price tag would cover more than that. <laughs> so, tell me what happened when Matt saw you in it. Tell me, and don't you dare leave out one single solitary sort of detail. <laughs> He gave me, yeah, his car keys. <laughs> car keys? Huh, now there's a new fetish. <laughs> Connie, I know his work is important to him, but he still could pay more attention to me. If only he could be more like Harvey. Yeah. You know, he brings her flowers every single night. You ever seen that apartment? She could keep bees in there. <laughs> you got any coffee? Yeah, it's in the kitchen. You know, Matt used to be so attentive. Even jealous. I mean, if I so much as looked at another man, his face would turn another man. Hey, maybe that's what I need. Hard to find. They're not in the yellow pages. I look. I don't mean I really want to get another man. I just want Matt to think there might be one. Plus, a real one makes a nice hobby, too. <laughs> My old boyfriend, Rex Tyler. He was a classmate of Matt's at medical school. If we could get somebody to call me and say that there were wrecks, then Matt would come around like in a flash. Yeah. Where do we find the guy? Oh. Here are your lamp chops, Mrs. Willis. Oh, thank you, Ernie. You're welcome. Bye. Ernie! Ernie! Could you come in here for a minute? Ernie, um... I'd like to ask you a little favor. Sure, I know. You want me to trim off more of the fat. Uh, no, not exactly. Uh, would you take a seat? Make yourself at home. Hi there. Hi. Uh, I've got a truckload of very urgent deliveries out there now. Well, this will only take a minute. Uh, sit down. Are you comfortable? Good. Look, I want you to call me tonight and ask me for a date. Uh, I couldn't. It's Tuesday. It's my bowling night. Oh, well, you don't have to go out can... with me. Just make the call. <laughs> it's a little joke. I'm playing on my husband. Oh, you don't know my wife. If Mona ever found out, 
joke or no joke, I'd be the one to die laughing. No, for the party, we get the five pounds of chopped liver from someone else. Five pounds? But Mona is insanely jealous. Because I don't blame her none. I get around. Uh, it's very easy, Ernie. All you have to do is call me tonight at 8 o'clock. And when my husband answers, you say you're Rex Tyler. Rex Tyler. Tyler, but that's what you told me to say. <laughs> Honey, it's Rex Tyler. Yeah? You remember the fellow that was your classmate that I dated before I met you? One minute, very tall, dark, wavy hair, and he had... <laughs> well, uh, it certainly has been a long time no see. A long time. I was up there this morning with the lamb chops. <laughs> uh, Rex, haven't you forgotten one teensy weensy little thing? I'm married. So am I. Sorry, we're all out of tripe. <laughs> well, I know how much we meant to each other. But you were never able to control that wild Latin blood of yours. <laughs> yes, Matt's standing right here all green. Jealousy. Hey, uh, where are the pencils? Oh, <laughs> Uh, Matt, Rex has two tickets to the Moonlight concert tonight. And he insists that I go with him. Rex, could you call me back a little later? How about that? <laughs> he called right back. He must be very anxious. <laughs> Hello? Hi, it's me, Connie. Did the phone call work? Oh, uh, Rex? Listen, um... Matt and I are just gonna stay home and... You know, have a nice, quiet evening. Uh, honey, if you want to go, go. And uh, I have a lot of work piled up here, and it's been a long time since you've been out. Be good for you. Please, go ahead. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, Rex. Well, I guess I'll be going. Oh, okay, honey. I'll see you later. Uh -huh. Good time. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, would you help me with my zipper? <laughs> oh, tickling me. Honey, I can't I can't do it if you don't stand still. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. Well, I guess I'd better not be late. You know, good old punctual Rex. <laughs> yes, sir. Good old, wicked, sinful, evil-minded, punctual old Rex. No, 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 no more. Jack, it's almost three o'clock in the morning. I am wiped. Oh, please go. But it's still too early. Look, if I want Matt to think.
think I've been out on a toot with a tiger, I've got to come home with me. Oh, we sat through two double features. We had all that popcorn we drove around for It'll hours. It'll be worth it. Tomorrow, I'll be getting the flowers. Getting him a little jealous is one thing, but by now, he'll be having a cardiac arrest. <laughs> right. Well, maybe I better not overdo it. Okay. I'll do the big good night scene at the door, and that'll cinch it. Okay, you have a good night's rest. <laughs> exactly two hours since I took five grains of tranquilizer 43. I will now measure my heartbeat and respiration. <laughs> oh, 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 don't rest. Rex, don't do that to my ear. <gasps> Rex Tyler, I'm a married woman. <laughs> work last night was because Matt didn't see or hear your other man. Matt is a researcher, right? Test of evidence, right? Smack in front of him, so that's what we'll give him. A real live Rex Tyler. <laughs> Daryl's terrific. He directs our little theater group. He's a real method actor. <laughs> Say, uh, is there anything wrong? Oh, no. Uh, nothing special. Well, now, Jay, I'm not completely blind. I mean, I, I kind of think that it's Matt. Uh... He's been pretty busy with his work, hasn't he? Oh, Harvey. I've been trying to make Matt over to you. <laughs> but nothing works. Well, there is another answer. What? Why not go with the original? <laughs> go. Um, just go. Oh, come on, doll face. We're both adults. You don't have to play games. Oh, hi, Harp. <laughs> Hiya, Matt. <laughs> Old Pally. <laughs> you really ought to think it over. <laughs> no. Uh, not flowers. I know. You deserve more. And uh, even these are about four or five million years too late. But whatever made you... I, uh... We played the tape that I made last night, and in the background, I heard what you went through. And, uh, unscientific as it may sound, I, I just got plain boiling mad. You did? <laughs> Over Rex Tyler? <laughs> oh. Hello. Huh? Myers the Butcher? This is Mrs. Myers. I found this number on Ernie, and I want to know who he's been calling. Oh, this is Dr. Willis. I work for the space program. Uh, astronaut volunteers. Astronauts? So, you think you're going to go off riding around on one of them rockets drinking orange juice while I'm stuck here 10 hours a day riding in hamburger? Huh? <laughs> well, forget it. Keep your mind off the liftoff and back on the lamb chop. <laughs> I may be cutting my own throat, but the truth is, there wasn't any Rex Tyler. It was only a dumbo game I was playing to make you jealous. And right now, there's an actor coming over here this very minute to pretend that he's going to... I know. I just remembered that uh, Rex is at Vandenberg in a four-week quarantine. <laughs> then you... Well, realizing that you had to go through all that, I... Honey, if you could forgive me for being such an neglectful old Dr. Doolittle, I promise you I'll change. Don't change. I don't want you like all the Harveys. I want you to be the way you are. Jay. Jay, I, I had to come back. Matt, you might as well know you... You can't fight this. It's, it's bigger than both of us. She'll never find happiness here. Never. I said she'll never find happiness here. I know a little place. Candlelight, wine, and so dark it's positively I, I, vulgar. But I, what are we waiting for? I wanted to... Don't. No, don't. Don't torture her. Give her her freedom. Heaven, don't torture her. Give her her freedom. She's just a murderer. 